I was a writer. I wrote books. I write now too, but nobody knows about it because nobody can see me now. This is my story. Last January, I decided to write a novel. I needed a quiet place, so I left my home and found a little room. It was nice and quiet, just a room for a writer. I began to work on my book and felt very happy. But then things began to happen, strange things. One day, when I returned to my room from a cafe, I found that my pen had disappeared. I looked for it everywhere, on the table, on the floor, on my chair, and then on the table again. It wasn't anywhere. That night, another strange thing happened. I was in bed and the room was very quiet. Suddenly, I heard a voice, a man voice. Who's there? I cried. There was no answer and there was nobody in the room. It all seemed very strange and I didn't know what to do. After that strange thing started to happen every day. But I had to finish my book, so I stayed there. The room was very small. There were not many things in it, only a bed, a table, and a chair. And there was an old mirror on the wall. And then, one day, I looked in the mirror and I saw him. The other man. It wasn't me. This man had a beard, but I didn't. I closed my eyes and looked again. This time, I saw my face in the mirror. Nonsense. I thought, there couldn't have been another man. But that day I didn't work on my book. I couldn't. I went for a walk, and when I came back I looked in the mirror again. There wasn't another man. It was my face. But it didn't make me happier. When I went to bed, I couldn't sleep. I'll leave this place tomorrow, I thought. And after that, I fell asleep. I had a terrible dream that night. The other man was standing by my bed and speaking to me. You'll never leave this place, he said. You'll always stay with me. I woke up in a cold sweat. I'm leaving this place. I won't stay here any longer, I said to myself. I jumped out of bed and quickly put all my things in a suitcase. Then I looked in the mirror and froze on the spot. I couldn't see the other man in the mirror. But I couldn't see my face in the mirror either. There was no face. I tried to shout, but no sound came out of my throat. I had no voice. And then I saw him. I saw the other man, the man with the beard. But he wasn't in the mirror. He was sitting at the table with my pen in his hand. He was writing my book with my pen. I was angry and I tried to speak, but I couldn't because I had no voice. The other man was silent. He went on writing with a smile on his face. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door and I heard a friend's voice. Are you there? My friend asked. I want to see you. I was very happy. My friend will help me, I thought. But I couldn't move. The other man went to the door and opened it. Come in, he said to my friend. Come and see my room. I'm writing my book. My friend came into the room, but he didn't see me. He smiled at the other man. Oh, you've grown a beard. I tried to speak again and again, but I couldn't. My friend didn't see me and he couldn't hear me. He only saw the other man. That is my story. The other man has my room. And he also has my face and my voice. He will finish my book, too. But the other man doesn't know one thing. I can write. I can tell my story. And I'm telling it to you.